Welcome to RVing in New England, the nation's only forum that puts you on stage with some of the biggest names in the RV industry. And now your hosts, John DiPietro and Bob Zagami. And welcome to RVing in New England. My name is John DiPietro. And I'm Bob Zagami. You can see, folks, we've got a little bit of a different show tonight because we are where, Bob? Where are we? We're not in New England. We're not in New England. <laughs> not in New England. Although it might be warmer in New England than it is here in Las it, Vegas. It may be. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada at the RBDA International Convention and Expo, filled the hall with dealers, and we thought we'd open the show tonight because our good friend Bernie Culleton's co-hosting, and he's back at the studio live over there. Right. He's there, but we've got several New England-based dealers here that we're going to be talking about during the course of the next couple of days and then showing it to you in the next few weeks. Yep. But now, why don't we do this? Let's, th like, like they do on TV. Throw Let's it back. throw it back throw, to Bernie. Throw it back to Bernie. Bernie, it's all yours. Don't screw it up. Bright light city's gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. Got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn, so get those dates up high. There's a thousand pretty women just waiting out there, and they're all living, the devil may care. And I'm just a devil with love to spare, so viva Las Vegas, and viva Las Vegas. Hey, folks, welcome to all our arriving in New England. Man, what an exciting show that we have tonight. You know, and I want to say hi to Jerry for jumping right in from Cape Cod. But before we get too deep into what promises to be an informative, action-packed, exciting show, let's hear from our sponsor, Lee's Auto and RV. Hi everyone, it's Grace and Faith here from Lee's RV. November is a great time of year to look around you, reflect, and be thankful for what you've been given. Now through November 24th, we are inviting everyone in to come down for our Harvest Jubilee sale. Hi everyone, this is Faith. Lately there's been a growing interest in truck campers and I wanted to share with you today um, this new floor plan um, it's called a 2912, and it has this beautiful party deck. Come on down to Lee's! Gonna love those people from Lee's uh, Auto and RV. At any rate, we are very excited because John and Bob are right now live in Las Vegas. They've been sending videos all day long about all the wonderful events going on at the convention for the RVDA. And we're going to be sharing all that with you. And Estelle, good evening to you too. Thank you so much. And tonight, we're very excited to be interviewing Terry Broussard of Spot Tonight, makers of an exclusive app which enables RVers to discover, research, and book campsites in real time with just a touch of the finger. It's so darn easy. I downloaded the app put in a destination, New Mexico, and with two or three seconds or so, I was checking out the amenities and at Route 66 RV Resort, they have pools, golf, children activities, and a huge casino on the property, fun for all. And Terry, thanks for joining us tonight. Well, thanks so much, uh, Bernie, for having us. And uh, through the uh, miracles of modern electronics, <laughs> like uh, like uh, Bob, and uh, they're out in Vegas, and I'm over in Orlando at the Association of RV Campground Owners the National Outdoor Hospitality Conference and Expo. That's fantastic. You know, I know that you're retired military and thank you very much for that. Um, also a hospital nursing executive, a four time RV owner. And, and you were talking about earlier that you may be getting number five pretty soon, right? Looking for number five. I was up in Hershey at the booth, got to got a chance to see some of those new rollouts, some of those new uh, super C's. And, uh, you know, our family's growing. Uh, three daughters. We're getting son-in-laws. We're getting grandchildren. Oh it's time to God. go big. You're yeah. populating the South. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure with all that personal history presents a unique perspective on the development of a reservation system for today's campus. Terry, please tell our listeners what is spot tonight and how can it uh, make finding a campsite easier and more fun? 
My pleasure. And I'm sure that our travelers have all shared that moment and frustration, even before COVID, of trying to find a campground that meets your exact specifications. So as an avid RV owner and traveler, my son-in-law says to me one day, let's go somewhere. And I said, when? He said, tonight. So I handed him the phone and said, here, start looking. I'll go disconnect. And after some moments of frustration, we realized, and as I already knew, that it wasn't that easy. So then we started getting pretty savvy on all the booking systems. And as you mentioned, I am not from the hospitality industry, nor is Sam. And uh, we got pretty savvy pretty quick, and we were off to the races. And that was October 2019. Within the following year, we had a first product launch with about 12 parks. And I'll jump to the end of the big bang. And that is really, we're on our way to a thousand parks in the next oh my gosh. three to six months. That so is we provide, fantastic. You know, like how do you get all this information and gather it into one spot? Like what is really going on behind the scenes to sure. make all this thing work? So, you know, back before I got into this, I couldn't even spell uh, OTA. I was lucky to spell RV. Uh, but anyway, we do this magic through direct integrations. Our startup from the get-go was to provide you, the traveler and camper, with real-time visibility and immediate booking capability in the app. And that has been our, our tagline, look, book, and go. And really, as you saw on the website, once you build your profile, in about eight clicks, you can locate that specific RV and you can book it. Now, we called it Spot Tonight because that was... That, that was the birth of it, right? But right. we go you're looking for something right away. You could yeah, be we, in a place you've never been, and you're looking like, I need a site in the next two hours. Where exactly. am I going to find one? Right. right. But we also go as far forward in the calendar as those booking uh, uh, companies, you know, as the campgrounds open up. So, you know, in New England, they close down for the winter, and then right. they'll open up their calendars for reservations. And as soon as they open it up, those are in ours because we are directly integrated. We're a live, real-time connection. So and so access in some cases to next year's bookings. So if absolutely. you find a place that you love and you want to be there on a certain weekend, you can jump on the Spot Tonight app and track it down and get right That's on correct. there and make a reservation. Yes, indeed, Bernie. We're putting you directly in touch with the live, real-time booking, just as if you have your own booking terminal from these particular campgrounds that are using connected software that we integrate with. So, but you're doing it with over a thousand campgrounds at the same time. So that's uh, just it's, an amazing, I it's just want to ask, amazing. I just want to ask our guests. So uh, Dante, thanks for coming in. Uh, Estelle and Jerry showing up. Now, anybody else want to, you know, join in here. We want to hear from you and uh, questions about this software. Uh, while we have uh, Terry on here, because it's a fantastic uh, product, and you should jump right on that website, spottonight.com, correct? And That's correct. So we have it available in the Apple Store, uh, oh. App Store. So our first launch was the App Store iOS version, and yeah. then we launched the Android version on Google Play, and Which then we just launched the uh, App Store this during this past year. And what's unique about it, it, it is it, no matter what platform you're coming into, it all touches base to the same database uh, so that it's real time. Once you get into that booking sequence, you will see you have a clock tick down, ticking down because it is real time. And you know, spots are going fast, depends on where you're looking for. But I will tell you as recently as Labor Day, uh, the Friday before, I had campers finding spots in the app. Because hey, these Dante. are- Hey, uh, Terry. Uh, so Dante had a question that he wants to know if it's a free app. I know the answer, but go ahead. Yes, indeed. It is a free app, free to download, free to look, book, and build your profile. There is a small convenience fee, just like you pay when you use any of the other booking engines that we charge the traveler for that. Itself. Yeah, that's like correct. Like buying tickets to a show or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And I'll tell you, we, we do a lot of different things. If you load your discount memberships in the app, just like you do when you walk into the campground and you show your cards and they give you a discount. Our app will do that if the park has offered it in the app. And the second one are promotional discounts. So for those of you that walked up to me at the Hershey RV show when I was up there, we were running a promotion and we discount that convenience fee. We also offer a discount code uh, for newcomers. 
So if you want to try the app out, I'm here to tell you right now in your listening audience, they can load that as a promotional code. It's newcomer and it's all lowercase and that will discount the code. So that's special for you guys. You got that newcomer. Newcomer. That's the, that's the code. That's yeah. correct. In your profile, build your profile. Your credit card is secure. It doesn't come to me. It's all in the vault. Put newcomer. And what that lets you do is when you're sitting there campground planning and you see that spot and you know there's only a few left and that little thing is clicking, you don't have to run back in the camper and go into the back and punch in the vault and get your wallet. You're all set to go. You <laughs> can look for go. Go in there, right? It's so yep. true. And then they come back and then they email me and they say, wait a minute, it's gone. Well, it's because, yes, it was 4th of July on the beach and they go fast. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you folks at Spa Tonight are integrating with so many different software platforms. And you were trying to explain one to me earlier and I couldn't really, I thought sure. it said stay less. What, what is that? Yeah, so the, the secret sauce that we do is we directly connect and negotiate these with our with our partners. We are not owned by a reservation company. We are not a reservation company. We are an integrator. We connect you. So our most recent announcement that we just announced here at the show is an integration with Staylist software. Oh, now, Staylist. Okay. Staylist. Why is Staylist? Why Staylist. do you say notice Staylist? The, notice yeah. the high tech banner. That's so, incredible. You know, we have yes. Bill working the computer and, and organizing this show. And I don't know how he put it right in front of your face like that. It was just amazing. <laughs> so, so I'll tell you, for most of our travelers, they really don't necessarily even need to know what booking engine the, the park's using, right? right. Uh, so I, most people wouldn't know that they were booked with Stayless or any of our, of any of our systems because now we're up to eight that we'll have total done here over the next three to four months. We're at five right now and we'll be up to eight. And so each one of those brings more additional parks. So you may find that your favorite park is not listed and it may just be that we did not get to that yet or they're not connected even though they're on a platform that they could be. So you can email us. There is an in the app, there's a suggest a park link and those come direct to me and I look at it and review it. I'll respond to you. I'll check it out. If it's one that's using the software that is already connected, we'll go after them and say, hey, Bernie said to connect. He loves your park and he'd like to find you in the app. That's fantastic. You know, and it's great that, you know, the, the app is so easy to use. Like I was on it just for a couple of minutes today and you basically, you can either use the parameter from where you are. So you can say, you know, use my location on my phone or something like that. And it'll give you campgrounds around where you are currently. Or if you're planning a trip, you can pick a town a city or a state or whatever, and it'll just give you all the campgrounds in that area within certain parameters. So, and then you can, you, you put in the length of your camper, how many slides it has, the type of camper it is, whether it be a, a, a drivable or towable or whatever it may be. And it's yeah. all simple, easy to do questions. And within just like 15 or 20 seconds, you can fill out the search parameters and off you go, campgrounds galore. Yeah. So to make the magic work, we have to know what you're traveling with, right? We have to know what we're looking for in the logic. The logic is we apply your filters up top. So if you have a 30 foot travel trailer, you need 30 amps, you want water, sewer, and electric because everybody's traveling, build out, save that profile, and then you just adjust your dates. And uh, you'll tell us like at last minute, it'll ask you real quick if you got pets, obviously, because some parks charge a pet fee, right? And how many guests? And all of that uh, uh, percolates down to your total reservation. And there it is right there. You've got it right, brought right up. Right. Well, I'll tell you, you know, it seems like your software is constantly being updated and reintegrated and, you know, just adjusted mm -hmm. for better user experience. And, you know, I'm, I praise you that you have a company that's all about the end user, making it easy making it quick, making it affordable, you know, accessible. It's fantastic. Even an old guy like me, I can get right on there and it's it's, it's not going to give me a brain cramp, you know. So. Well, and that's, uh, I'm, I'm excited to hear that because I really value feedback from the travelers. And so again, in the app or on the webpage, there's a feedback uh, tag and you can email me or you can just email terry at spottonight.com and say, 
Terry, I love your app. I'd like to see you do this, that, or the other. And then we weigh all of that. We're extremely nimble, a family owned business. Uh, and so we have uh, developers that are on staff with us. There's our team, he's bringing them up. And uh, that's uh, exactly, these guys are the real experts. You know, they are, right. they are simply amazing, all of our development team. So you're just a pretty face, is that what you're saying? I'm the front guy, right? I have the aha <laughs> moment, right? You know, it's like, uh, you know, being a good military officer, I have to give my credit to my squads. So, you know, it's just wow. a great, uh, it's a great thing. And so we worked that first integration with RMS, then we went with Check Front, New Book, Rover Pass, ResNexus, my sites as we announced that being coded, Stayless, and then Campground Solutions, which is a product of Good Sam, uh, is also in the works and for integration. I want to thank Dante for putting up a question. Now, is anybody else out there to have a question for Terry while he's on? He only has a couple of more minutes and we're going to have to be going back to visiting Bob and John, which is, is going to be an extremely exciting uh, time for us for sure, because they have so much in store for us. But Terry, it's been absolutely wonderful. I know it's a short, sweet little visit here, and I'm so happy that you were able to come back and, and, and join us kind of on a short notice and give us all this wonderful information. So folks, you can reach out to Terry, Terry at spottonight.com, or you That's can it. just go to get the Spot Tonight app and make sure the two is using the number, not T-O, all right? So uh, in night That's is N-I-T-E, right? Keeping it nice and That's simple, it. just like on his shirt. <laughs> exactly, just like, oh, on the shirt, wrong side. There we go, on, yeah. the, on the shirt and, uh, we love to hear from our travelers. So uh, hit me up. And also I would just throw out one last thing. If your travelers have any traveling groups and they do Zooms, we do, I do a lot of Zooms for the travelers and the little traveling group. I'd be glad to connect with them. Just send me an email. That's fantastic. Terry, enjoy. I know you're down in Orlando at a, an RV convention down there. Or what is that convention you're at? This now? is the Association of RV Campground Owners. Oh, and nice. it's the outdoor hospitality. So again, like Tampa and Hershey are travelers, right? Yep. And you're at a dealer. The guys are at the dealer show. This is a show for campground owners. So you can have everything here from water treatment systems to light poles to barbecue pits to software. This is where that particular part of the industry wow. happens. How to make those campgrounds work better. And your product is going to make that happen even even better than it has been. So thanks again. And uh, Bill, I want to ask you to see, uh, is Bob and John hanging around so we can bring them up and find out what they've been up to. Have a great night, Terry. Thanks. To Bye -bye. Thank you. Thanks, Terry. That was a great job. Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going over there in, in Vegas? Agami well, is, I went to the convention and did all the seminars. Agami has been stuck at a slot machine. I figured you'd yeah. be the gambling type more than him. He's hanging around all the blue haired ladies on respirators. <laughs> I know. Looking for love in all the wrong places. I don't, no, that's, I don't, waste, I don't waste my hard earned money gambling. You know? you know, Zagami is the embodiment of the phrase, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> He's leaving something there, like his pocketbook. Yeah, all right. Yeah, exactly. I tell you, it, it's an exciting convention, though, Bernie. You yeah, know, please tell us about it. Yeah. This, this is the RV Dealers International Convention Expo. So we have dealers from uh, Canada here also. And uh, last year, they had 1,200 attendees. They thought they might go up a little bit this year. But as we all know, the market conditions are changing. Dealers have a lot of inventory on their lots. You know, there are economic questions to deal with. And all of a sudden, we got 1,800 people here. Holy mackerel. <laughs> yeah, these people want to learn something. That's great. They, yeah, they, they want us. It's, that's right. They're here. It, it's all about education and training and networking. Uh, we just have done a fantastic job with the workshops and uh, networking opportunities. But uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's amazing. I haven't seen this many people at this conference in... 10 years. Well, I know you've been hanging out with a bunch of folks over the last couple of days, and there's been a just, lot of great goings on. So tell us a little bit about who you met and, and, and what they well, were what you were talking about. We, we should say that uh, of the New England, we've, we've got five New England dealers here, Bob. Tell me if I'm right. We got Pete's, we got Cold Spring, we got from Connecticut, no, Cold Spring from New Hampshire, 
We got Longview from Connecticut right. and uh, Hemlock Hill from Connecticut. Anybody I'm missing? Uh, that's four. Uh, I think I think we only have those four. Four. We, we have seen. Uh, There's nobody from uh, campus in there. Oh, well, that's the fifth one. Yeah, Ben. Sorry. Ben. Ben and Jeff and a team, and Debbie Bruinfonte is here, and a few other guys, and uh, they were here for a special reason. I'm not the, I'm not sure the order of, uh, of videos, but we'll we'll get to that special. No, Bill's reason. pretty good. He, he'll be able to pull it up no matter what you say. <laughs> he, he is very good at what he does. Well, why don't we go right into that special award that our friends at Campers in won last night? Hey everybody, we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I am with Megan Neighbors and Ben Hurst from Campers Inn. It's a special night for Megan. You want to tell us why we're all here, Ben? Sure. Yeah, so the 40 Under 40 Awards is about to begin here in a little bit, and this is an annual award where it recognizes uh, top performers that are under 40 years old that are up and coming in the industry. So Campers Inn RV is proud that Megan Neighbors is part of the 40 Under 40 class here in 2022. It's, it's fantastic. And this is actually your second year in a row of having a recipient. That's correct. Well, we had We're, Destiny last year. Yep. We had Megan this year. And, and it just shows the, the depth of um, Campers Inn in terms of the quality of your employees. Absolutely. We have a we have an incredible bench of young, growing talent in our organization. Yeah. I think I first met you in New Hampshire years ago. Yeah, over 10 years ago. Over we, we 10 years yeah. ago. Right? We, were doing a, we were doing a video on a tip and motor home when, when we were doing that story on Jeff. Absolutely. Maybe she wants to speak. So, <laughs> so what does the award mean for you, Megan? I'm just very grateful to be honored with such a wonderful group of RV professionals and very grateful to Campers Inn for continuing to invest in me. So it's truly an honor to be here tonight. We're great to have you here and congratulations. Thank yep. you. We are super proud of Megan. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Wow. You know, Megan, I, I met her, you know, when she first started and uh, and she's always been such a hard worker and she had she understands the campus in story and really lives and breathes it and, and gives so much to the company. And I'm so proud of her. And uh, that's actually three years in a row that someone from campus in got the 40 under 40 award because Ben was the first one, which was uh, two Two full years ago, then oh. Destiny, now Megan. So, uh, what a what a privilege to have these individuals in our company. Uh, but congratulations, Megan. Very happy for you for sure. Bernie, they're going to have one for you as soon as they can do seven under seventy. <laughs> Sagami, don't you laugh because you're in the eight under eighty category. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm, in fact, I think I was in that category all by myself this week. <laughs> well, I, I thought it was John that asked why he didn't get the award, but we all know that. For I'm sure. in the five under 50. Right. Oh, I thought you meant five under 500. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, all right. I'm just picking on you, man. Yeah, good job. That was one. But you know what? In this particular convention, um, there were so many different learning tracks, whether it was about digital marketing, whether it was about how to treat your service department, whether it was about how to, um, you know, follow up with customers on service and, and other aspects like that. But one other one that we found was um, Bob ran into Chad from Pete's RV and Frank Roberts from Longview RV. And uh, they were happy to be here. And the interesting thing is um, Frank is now going to be uh, joining the board. Chris Andrew moves off the board and Frank joins the board. So it's important to know that our, our New England dealers are nationally recognized for their work. So that's if we have that cool. and um, we can let that roll, that would be great. Okay, I'm here in wonderful Las Vegas with uh, Frank Roberts, the CEO of Longview, and Chad Shepard, President and CEO of Pete's RV, you will, you know them from our RVing in New England uh, activities. And guys, let me start with you, Frank. You've made a big investment in giving back to the industry, going on to the board of directors. Why is something like the RVA's convention so important to you and the company? Wow. This, uh, this whole atmosphere, everything that you can learn, everything you can do to make your dealership better, 
it helps the customers. It really, it helps the manufacturers. It just works its way right through everything. The uh, programs here are really fantastic. Yeah, you know, I, I thought for years that if you only came to this meeting to network with other dealers, it would you would have got ten times the investment when you do it. Chad, you've been coming for a long time. What's it mean to Pete's RV, especially in the growth stage that you're in right now? I think for us it's just seeing what's going to be coming tomorrow and dealing with today's problems. And just like uh, Frank had said, you know, what are we going to do today to, to make it better for the customer in the long run? And that's what we're here for, make things better and provide better customer service. And right down the line from manufacturer to dealer to customer, that's, that's what we're looking for. Well, it's an amazing array of workshops and sessions also. It covers everything that you would want to know more about in your dealership. What are some of the, sh the sessions that you thought are really great for long? Uh, there's a lot of stuff on employee retention. There's a lot of stuff on uh, cycle times to get vehicles repaired. It, you name it. That you, If you can't find it, they don't have it. It's every single topic of the dealership right through the DMS's, right through your computer software. It, it's really great information. There's also a lot of regulations coming up from the government that are going to impact the dealerships. You have to have that. Where else is the dealer going to get the information if they don't get it here? And then be able to talk about it with the presenters and with their peers in that sense. So what, what was one of the ones that were more valuable to you, Chad? Just with the, the new stuff that's going to be coming out on privacy issues and concerns that's in December and we'll be ready for it. Let's just come to, to reinforce that we're making the right steps to, to protect the customer and the dealerships. Okay, you know it's crazy here trying to get these guys for a couple of minutes. Chad, thank you very much, Frank. Thank and you. Best of luck on thank the board you, of directors. You got a new you. representative, you got New England representative. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. That's some heavy hitters there. So you and we're spending all our time down at the bar and uh, walking the strip. See? Well, you yeah, know, we're working here. Well, that, that's good. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. You know, I can't say that I'd be as responsible as you guys and actually get some productive, you know, things done while you're there. But, you know, God bless you for working so hard. I, I just want to mention Dante had asked a question earlier on, and I wanted to make sure. Uh, that he did, he got addressed. All right, so he's uh, related. To, he's I think it's relationship to Megan Neighbors, and she was at the Kingston store when I first started, and she was helping out over there. Right. And now she's at HQ, which is down in Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, she is actually the director of marketing for Campers Inn, which that is a substantial job that she has there at this point for sure. There's so many things that she does to help drive customers to our door. God bless her and the team that she works with. Um, and, and I've worked with several of them on other projects. So yeah, that's, mm. that's where she is now. Well, you know, we worked very, we worked very closely with uh, Megan and Jessica on the Do It Now tour this year. We, we couldn't have done it without their help and assistance and setting up appointments for John along the way and making sure the dealership visits were there. So uh, she's very valuable for the, for the company, that's for sure. Yep. Absolutely. You know, it's also valuable to our show as our sponsor, our yeah. friend, Lee's Auto and RV Ranch. And uh, you know what? It's just about coming up at uh, halftime for the show. Roll. Let it roll. Hello. Folks, Billy, this, Billy, is when, Billy, Billy, Billy. this is when you say, do not adjust your TV. <laughs> and we blame it on technical difficulties. Hi, everyone. It's Grace and Faith here from Lee's RV. November is a great time of year to look around you, reflect, and be thankful for what you've been given. Now, through November 24th, we are inviting everyone in to come down for our Harvest Jubilee sale. Hey everyone, this is Faith. Lately there's been a growing interest in truck campers and I wanted to share with you today um, this new floor plan. Um, it's called a 2912 and it has this beautiful party deck. Come on down to Lee's! You gotta <laughs> give some credit. <laughs> They're innovative, fun people. 
I, I love the creativity down at Lee's Auto and RV Ranch. Thank, thank you for sending that one uh, in today. Uh, one, one, one point of business that I'd like to mention, um, we are a big association for associations around the country. We've got uh, about 35 member dealers and many locations throughout New England, but we only had four of them at Las Vegas this year. And this is a very important meeting. And I think that all of our dealers should probably send at least one person, uh, as you heard from Frank and, and Chad. And, and there's been a history in New England of always supporting at the national level, long before there was a, a regional level, going all the way back to Jack Moran, who was the founder of Arlington uh, RV Supercenter down in uh, Rhode Island. Uh, Jeff Hirsch has been chairman. Uh, as you heard, uh, Chris Andros just coming off his, his past chair this year, but he's been serving several years in that, uh, in that capacity. Um, there's others that I'll think about, but you know, we certainly appreciate what they do for Nervder and at the national level, and, and we see an uptick. And I think the fact that uh, they expected 1,200 people this year and they got 1,800 is very reflective of the deal is taking this industry very serious as they have dealerships and lots full of inventory. They have new government regulations coming from the FTC that are kind of onerous. So there's going to be a big lobbying campaign against them. They've got more money coming from the outdoor round table, recreation round table. So a lot of things going and we'll be reporting on those as we go along. Cause we, we actually shot some videos that we didn't send you Bernie. We kept, we kept, oh. the, good, we kept the good ones here. Oh, you're, you're holding out on me. No, we have good ones. Bob, we yeah. have good ones. So yeah. if you don't, do you have another video to show us now? Or I have some questions now or later, whatever you want. Well, you know what? Why don't we why don't we ask answer a couple of your questions and then we got a couple of videos and we'll All right. uh, sounds good. Yeah. So I'm I'm just wondering, I know you guys been there for a couple of days and you know you don't get a lot of sleep and a time change and all this stuff, but out of everything that you've seen so far, what do you think is the most impactful say innovation uh, that you've seen, whether it be a mechanical or, you know, uh, institutional or, you know, you know, program wise or whatever that you've seen so far that would benefit the customers out here in New England. Bob, why don't you start with that? I, I have a definite answer, but go ahead. Well, that, that's, that's a good question. And, and actually we have one video that does play to uh, some new products that Thetford is bringing out uh, for the consumers. They got a lot of attention. Uh, a lot of the vendors that you would see here would be back office uh, benefits for the dealerships. So finance, finance companies, uh, service contract companies, uh, people like that. And that's always a big thing. Our uh, nerve to member easy care was here and they introduced a couple of new programs for uh, their customers down on the floor. And there's a new um, manufacturer, which we just, spent a lot of time with today that's just getting around to putting a new line of trailers, uh, pop-ups and kind of hybrids, but they, they're actually manufactured in Arizona. They come out of South Africa, the components and the engineering. And these oh, are wow. more on the Outlander side. You know, we've seen some of those products coming out from Jayco and Ember and uh, Forest River. But these, these we are, are seeing a lot of people looking for the really small, the ultra smalls that kind of, expand and turn into something else you know so yep. there's a lot more trend in that that direction for sure well these these are ruggedized and the company in south africa built them and builds them military for the, for the military oh wow i mean you just take one look at these things and say i could take this up mount kilimanjaro and come down come down the other side so well, they're, the gonna, they're, gonna be, they're gonna be looking for dealers that understand the outlander and the boondockers it, it's for the next generation as we've seen a lot of these Absolutely. Coming out now, the, the young people that want to go kayaking and fishing and climbing mountains, that was yeah. uh, that was very interesting. Yeah. So, Bernie, I can answer your question directly without um, any hesitation here. From what I have seen from a um, from something that the consumer would notice is that the the uh, huge uptick in solar utilization and. Yep. These solar panels now are so flexible and they're lightweight. It's not like the ones that have the metal frames to them that attach to the top of your roof. I mean, these, these basically glue to your roof and um, 
from that being said, we've seen several, Bob, what you say, several companies and, you know, technology with um, uh, con connectivity as well. Um, the fact is people say they want to get away from it all, but they want to be connected and they want to have internet when they're out in the middle of the woods. And uh, it, it almost seems like a contradiction in usage, but we are so hooked on being connected that even when we go off the beaten path and off the grid, we, we want some type of solar product to be able to uh, provide the power that we need to stay connected. Yep, so, that's right. I mean, more and more companies are getting involved with, you know, standard features of having solar inverters on board so you can get outlet power. You yep. know, I've even seen some uh, companies that are kind of standardize soft start ACs with the lithium batteries and the solar and all kinds of stuff like that. And oh my goodness, you know, solar is a big deal and there's right. a lot that can be done with it. And then when you add into that connectivity to it, you know, um, I just want to mention, I see that Jim finally made it at 730. Jim Roy, thank you very much for joining us and I appreciate the apology. And uh, also uh, T. Rick, Mobile RV services just showed up a little bit ago. And, it's called uh, Trick. Thanks for us. That's yeah, right. So maybe, that's Ryan Head. Head. That's Ryan Head. Lead Trick. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, you have a new name now. You got T Rick. T Rick. T Rick. T -Rick. Like, like, a, like a dinosaur. Hey, yeah. uh, one other thing about the uh, products the uh, Keystone uh, teamed up with uh, Dragonfly right. on the uh, Battleborn uh, batteries. Right. Are a nice, yeah, yeah, a nice display. And showing all the functionality. Of course, Keystone is making that standard equipment on their product. So you're going to see a lot of it. The homework is going to be done for you on the initial products. You're not going to have to say, why do I have to learn a lot about this? But each manufacturer is coming up with their own set of standard equipment. So it's they're just going to make units that come with solar, period. Well, we're starting to see the technology starting to do this. When yeah. it came in, it was kind of all over the place. The efficiency was very low. You get a 50-watt solar panel. You, you might be able to power up a LED light for a half hour or something like that. But nowadays, the wattage is going up. The efficiency, the better storage of the power itself. So I see this going huge and just getting people even somewhat out of the campgrounds. And that's where the National Park Service and that conversation we had Last last week, yeah, with, uh, yeah, Kurt but Kurt, yeah, I mean, that's going to become more and more essential uh, in those situations because people don't want to hear generators going on. Yeah, right? so uh, know, Tom, talk about talk about the video you did uh, because is it Lisa or Lara? They're, Lara. they're walking tonight. They I, I they're here right now, them. and yep. you know what? When when you think of Norcold. In Thetford, you think of refrigerators or... Hey, or time out. I got to do this. Time out, DePedro. Time out. Time out. Yeah. I know you don't like that, but Laurie, Laurie is actually over there on the comments. She said she tuned in at 7.37. She said, I'm here too. And Laura is still working. She is watching us from her booth on the exhibit floor. I went over this afternoon, gave it the URL, showed her where it would be. And she's even got her marketing people at Thetford watching and her social media so that they can they can push this out i'm sorry i stepped up with, I'm, I'm Thank sorry you, I stepped Laura, up for sure. the yeah. show. and we yeah. certainly um um know the fact that everybody uses thetford products and um the fact is and we talk about it in the video well you know what why don't we do this rather than we talk about rather than tell you what's in the video why don't we just hit that button bill and let's listen to laura Hey everybody, it's John DePietro. I am in beautiful, sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. We are at the RVDA, the RV Dealers Association annual convention. And I'm here with my friend who I don't even know her first name. Oh, it's Laura. Laura, Laura. PD. Laura what? PD. Like, D, and I'm DP and you're PD. Yep. So that's there pretty we go. cool. So Laura, you represent Thetford and Norco, Norco, but let's just talk about Thetford for a second because sure. Whether you have a pop-up, a Class B, or a Class A 45-foot diesel pusher, ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing that we have in common, and that is involving the black tank. Yes. 
So tell us about the products that you have and what makes Thetford different than all the other options out there. And there are lots of options. There are definitely lots of options. The number one thing I want everyone to know is we actually manufacture our chemicals right in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So I think that is the, the big defining factor for us is we, um, our engineering and our manufacturing is right here in Michigan, or right there in Michigan. Hmm. Okay. And the thing that I've, because of my extensive research on this topic, the, the wave in keeping that down is going from watt to watt. So in the past, um, a lot of the holding tank treatments were formaldehyde based. So if you know what formaldehyde's for, it's- Oh, remember those from science class, the formaldehyde? Yeah, it's to keep the dead bodies the from stinking, right? The dead, the dead frog in seventh grade biology. Yeah, well, and obviously uh, we all love the outdoors and the environment, and we, it's not hard to realize that formaldehyde and the environment aren't great together, right? So what's happened in the industry and with our company is we've moved from a formaldehyde-based product to an enzyme-based product. That is exciting. That's yes. breaking news. Yeah, yeah, it's, right. it's a big change um, and it's the right thing to do, but it's also um, a behavior change that has to take place to make sure this works. Hmm. So environmentally, it's got a positive impact? So what you're using, you're using enzymes and biologics, those microbes, probiotics, all these things are taking the waste and really turning it into CO2 and water. I mean, it's Just like easy that. peasy. Just like that. So, um, where can people? But well, look, we've got a we've got a brochure here, right? That, yep. that talks a little bit about that. Um, talk about just some of the wide variety of products that yeah. you've got so under your label. The Aquamax product is is a, definitely our premium product, and that is the enzyme-based product. Um, it comes in two scents. You've got Spring Showers, which is a little bit more feminine, and the, the Summer Cypress, which has a little bit more masculine scent. Um, and there's also multiple variations. If you like dry, liquid, you've got choices. Okay, so they can get them at their local RV dealer, which Absolutely. we always recommend because of the expertise that they can provide. And uh, you could also get them at regular retail stores throughout the country. Correct. Correct. So, um, go ahead now. You can look right at the camera and close this segment and say, this segment has been brought to you by... This segment has been brought to you by... Bedford. Bedford. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. <laughs> wow. How much of that candy did you eat, John? Uh, uh, you quite, know what? Quite a bit. Was, Don't listen that, to him. Quite a bit. That was the Dove candy, Bernie. Oh, that's a good that stuff. No wonder you went over to that desk. Yeah, we, we, we don't deal very, with. Uh, yeah, we, we don't deal with. We're very selective the, about picking out good candy. Okay. Right. In fact, we only did interviews with people who had good candy. Right. Well, thank you, Laura, for that because that was actually really uh, insightful to to find out this different ways of doing things. There's ways of doing things that are better for your neighbors, for the environment, you know, for other RVers. So. Uh, Having an enzymatic deodorizer, I think it's the way to go for sure. Well, and you know, the thing is this. Um, it's so true that um, your camping trip can be ruined if you don't manage that black tank properly. Even if you've cleaned it and, um, you know, not rinsed it after cleaning it and you've got some residual in there. And again, depending upon the time of the year, you can walk in, even after cleaning it on Sunday, walk in on the following Friday, we're going to use it. And you say, whoa. What happened? Did the football team come in here and use our <laughs> toilet? So um, right, right. it's important to know those things. We're talking with um, with the folks at Thetford of possible um, giving out some products uh, on future shows. Um, but we'll let you know more about that right. as yeah. the time have, comes. Have them on for some more detailed. Uh, Very exciting. Uh, Yep, yep, yep. And Bob, we had a, we had one other, at least one other, um, with you our did. friend Earl. But did you did you do another one that we sent in today? Uh, you know, we did so many, and we were rifling stuff back and forth to Bill, who was tremendous in the back room and getting all these videos in. We appreciated Bill very much uh, getting them converted and go. I don't. I think the only one, the only video we have left is Earl Hunter, and. Uh, if I'm... Hey everybody, we are in beautiful Las Vegas. It's John DeVitro along with my friend Earl B. Hunter Jr. Right on there. <laughs> and it used to be a black and white fact that black folks didn't camp. Mm -hmm. It was all just white guys. Right. Okay. 
ain't well, the case no more. Well, I tell folks, you know, black folks have always, you know, camp. That's why our company's called Black Folks Camp, too. Our job is to get show more the, show the black folks to get to go camping and enjoy the outdoor lifestyle with any and everyone. And I'm excited to be here in Vegas at RVDA. My friends here at uh, NA RVDA. And uh, you guys always do a good job, so I appreciate you having me. So tell us what you've been up to. I mean, you're yeah. like the rising star. Of yes. This so, so our company, Black Folks Camp 2, you know, we are a, um, a very strategic company. We uh, we believe in being sincere. We believe in being meaningful. We believe in being measured so we can be sustainable. Our only job is to educate the industry, educate current lifestyles, and educate more black folks yes. about the RV industry and why the RV industry is so amazing. That campfire that you see right here is also the campfire in our logo, and it means it is the unity blaze, and it means treat every, everyone, everywhere, equal. That's what it is. You know, the reality of it is when you're in a campground, whether the person in the next spot is a bank president, no matter, or way down in the corporate ladder, right? Everybody kind of respects and treats everybody as friends. Right. I think one of the things is most folks don't really realize that uh, who's not in the industry or the lifestyle. RVing is a fantastic uh, lifestyle. You get people from all different walks of life. You get around that campfire, we start having conversations. We're going to find out we got more same than differences, man. That's kind of how I operate, right? And, and there is magic in that campfire. It is. Right? It That's is magic. Probably why you're using it. Yep. Hard the campfire is the, the center, of, it's, it's the oldest form of light, heat. Cooking and gathering, and I wouldn't want our I wouldn't want our, 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 our company to stand on anything or to sit around anything except for that campfire. So what we want to do and make sure that people understand this, that right there is the unity blaze. It doesn't matter your race, your age, or your gender. We want you around that campfire so we can start having conversations. And when we do that, we're gonna find out we got more saying and differences. So how can people find out more about Black Folks Camp 2? Listen, go to our website, blackfolkscamp2too.com, blackfolkscamp2.com. Go to our website, love us, come and join us, and uh, come change the world with us. There you go, everybody. We'll be back with more. Woo! Wow. Hey. He, he, he's going to be coming on the show. He's, he's been building a lot of uh, relationships along the way here. The last couple yep. of years but he's ready to come back on the show and he is so dynamic so uh he, 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 once he gets up on this stage and starts talking to people it's it's like a magician they just sit there in awe and he's got a, a phenomenal message great message Not, a great messenger that's for sure but but a, another thing along that line i don't know if you noticed in that video kessler walked by the camera twice you know he told me that i was so intent in filming it I was just paying attention to you and Earl, and you could see the outstanding video I produced. Yep. I wasn't looking at the people in the background or moving yep. the car. Well, Sherm Goldenberg, the editor of the owner of RV Business, and Rick Kessler, the editor, executive editor, I think he calls it, of RV Business. Uh, Sherm walked by once because he's camera shy, um, but Kessler walked by and kind of stopped between Earl and me and smiled. And um, then he walked back out and he even came back after we were done filming and said, by the way, I walked by your. He, he did. <laughs> and I hadn't noticed it. Uh, while like we, had noticed while it. we were, were showing that one, our executive producer sent me a note and said, hey, we got one more. And uh, actually, this is a good one to save for last. I talked earlier about the importance of our deal is engaging in this particular convention and what they get from it, but it is probably best to hear why dealers go to this convention from Chris Andro oh, Chris, and, his okay. brother, and his brother Jason, mm -hmm. and, along with their sister Michelle, who owned the company. And he's been active now for probably over 10 years, and he's been past chairman. Uh, why don't we let Chris, in his words, tell you why it was very important for him to also be in Las Vegas this week. I'm here in Las Vegas with Chris and Jason Andro, part of the Andro family, the owners of Hemlock Hill RV down in Connecticut. And Chris, you're just finishing up your many years of volunteering with RVBA. You've been recognized for all of your achievements in the years. Talk about your experiences on the board. Well, well, Bob, being on the board, you know, uh, volunteering for for this organization is very rewarding because, um, uh, you know, the, the what we get back at Hemlock Hill and 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 experience and and uh, you know friendships and those kind of things, 
it, it outweighs the time and the volunteerism. Uh, and the reward that, that I feel for volunteering has been amazing. You know, you're so right. I wish every dealer would get involved at some level of the association. And, and Jason, you can speak to the fact that when your brother's been out here these last few years, several years, as you ascended through yeah. the chairmanship, it puts another toll on the whole dealership, but mm -hmm. you and Michelle had picked up the ball. You did all the work. <laughs> well, you know, we built a great team at, at the dealership, so it's, it's when he's away, you know, because of the RBPA and the training that we do, we we're able to build a good process to, you know, for him to do that so we could step up and all our managers can. Yeah, I agree 100%. If it wasn't for what we learned being here at the convention and and the take backs, our team back at the dealership, yeah. I don't know that I could have done this. I don't know that I could have. And that's why it's so rewarding. I, yep. I got to say yeah. that. Well, you know, and, and one of the things that people don't see about the association activity it's tremendously rewarding to do it yourself. Yeah. But when you're doing that, and the benefit that you get from the various programs, the people, the networking, the educational yeah. things, that you right. pass on back to them, your dealership is the recipient of all yeah, of this. And correct. Jason grows through that time, Michelle grows, your staff grows. Speak to that aspect of it, Jason. Yeah, I mean, you know, just the information that he takes back and gives us that we could learn on, you know, the, the processes that we could put in place and grow on. Um, it's just, it's invaluable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so the takeaway for all of this for the dealers in the industry is get involved in some way, whether it's locally with NERVDA, whether it's at the national level, do some volunteer work, get the rewards that are there. It, you'll find out that it's the most rewarding part of your career because you get a chance to work on the expertise that you've developed yourself so you're passing on a lot to the other people but as you say you always get a lot more back in return and your customers as well you know bob and and you know one more added to that aside from volunteerism if you're in new, in new england and you're a nerve to, you really should be at this event even if you just come as a principal or you send a sales manager or a sales manager the value that you're missing out on uh, you know, is, is incredible. You really need to be here. You know, that's a great point. Somebody from every one of the dealerships should be here. Absolutely. Even if it's only one for what you do. So once again, we want to thank the Andro family and Chris for all your service to RBDA at the national level. Jason, locally with us at NERVDA. Visit Hemlock Hill RV down in Southern Connecticut and see the results that the many years of volunteer work have done to build a great RV dealership in New England. Well, the things that Chris said, and, and John, you kind of led him to that point, it, were very impactful. You know, it goes to show you that the RV Dealers Association has such a great amount of resources at their fingertips. And if dealerships would just use that information, not only would it help them, but it also in turn helps the customer, right? The, the end user. The end user wants a better experience and the more knowledge that the dealership bodies have that they can uh, give back to their customers, the, the better experience they're going to have camping with their family. It's, it's as simple as that, whether it be something like you said before, easy care or, or other, other resources that are going to show up there. Companies like Spot Tonight might be there or, or something else. Uh, it might be a new product. For your toilet, right? That that Thetford uh, Chemical Company. There's just so many great resources, and I know you're just touching the very trim of it. Uh, but there's thousands and thousands of goings on at, at events like that that are beneficial to all of us. Yep. Good event. Yep. 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 We want to thank uh, all the companies that um, spent time for during during their interviews, such as Thetford, such as our dealers, and um, also our friend, Mr. Hunter. Um, yeah, you know, the, you bring up a good point, John. You know, uh, it, I know they look good. You know, you press the button, the video, and you, and you see it, and you get to hear that. We tried to get the Andro video for two full days because they, they had other meetings they had to go to. And, what, and I'd say, all right, yeah, and we were doing one, and we'd talking, and I'd say, oh, okay, go, wait, 
wait, wait two minutes and, you know, you're next. And two minutes gone by, they've gone to another meeting. They've gone down the hall. But uh, we, but, we did, did finally pin them down. You know, we got, we got so I got to admit that, not admit, but I'll let our audience know that in the Andro video, we had the two brothers. We just couldn't find Michelle at that time. But we did speak to her a little bit later that day. And she handles all the marketing. And um, yep. you know what? It is a second generation family business where three siblings are all working together, not getting in each other's way, not, um, you know, trying to do each other's job. They respect that. And that's why, you know, when Chris was, you know, when you take a national position at a trade association, you go to a lot of events and, um, you know, they're usually not held right in your backyard. So you spend a lot of time on airplanes and hotels representing the industry, which means you have to have a good team back at the ranch in order to uh, make it all work. And they well, embodied that. Yeah. And, you, you know, the, the other thing that makes this convention more important, and maybe it's one of the reasons why they went from 1,200 people to 1,800 people. They knew I was coming. The majority, yeah, that's right. I said, I'm taking DePetro for the first time ever. And I said, oh, we got to meet John DePetro. So, so it just boosted their you know, attendance tremendously. But <laughs> a, a, majority, a majority of the dealers that are there are, in fact, independent dealers. There are, there are some representatives from some of those big mega dealers. But, you know, Campers Inn is still a family business. Jeff and Ben have always supported uh, RVDA for many men. In fact, Jeff is still serving on one of the uh, extended committees. Uh, we've got people, you know, family businesses like the uh, Jay Moran and Jim Taro down at uh, Arlington RV. We got Mans RV. We got Bradford RV that's been out there for years. And now more than ever, these independent dealers need this because they're amongst like-minded people who have decided at this point not to sell their business to the big guys. And they will learn again from the networking aspect of sharing best secrets, not best best uh, practices. Best practices. They have. So the independent dealer is very strong and getting stronger as evidenced by what we saw at the uh, conference convention this week. And we have one more day tomorrow. Right. Now, let hey, me just say one more. Let me say, just say one more thing before we, we kick it back to Bernie to uh, close out. And it might not be impressive to you, but it was to me. And let me just say this. Um, we had 1,800 people here, maybe 1,000 dealers representative. Um, there are people that came to the event. It's a business event, but they came to the event with, um, with their shirts and shorts and flip-flops, okay? Some of them, no problem, okay? Maybe that's their, their, the way they dress at their place of work. But the thing that I notice is that all of the five New England dealers, okay, Pete's, Cold Spring, Longview, Hemlock Hill, and Campers Inn, their representatives were dressed professionally. Now, you yep. say, jacket and tie, you don't need a jacket and tie to sell RVs. No, but if you're running a business and um, you want to be professional, I think if you look professional, you'll be professional. I think that was something that I took away from the event. And that's, that's for the first time we're at the event. So well said, John. So uh, yeah. Yeah. you want to, you want to drop us Bernie and we let you finish up the program. Yeah. Let's uh, I, I don't need to drop you, but I just want to thank you folks for all joining us tonight. I know there's going to be a lot of people watching all week long. And for the folks that joined us, uh, Laura and trick and Walter and Jim and Dante and uh, who else we, we had? Jerry and Estelle. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. But we also have uh, one more bit of gratitude to send out to yep, the Lee's big Bill. Auto and RV Barn, right? So, yep. Bill, if you want to roll that beautiful bean footage. Hi everyone, it's Grace and Faith here from Lee's RV. November is a great time of year to look around you, reflect, and be thankful for what you've been given. Now through November 24th, we are inviting everyone in to come down for our Harvest Jubilee sale. Hey everyone, this is Faith. Lately there's been a growing interest in truck campers 
and I wanted to share with you today um, this new floor plan. Um, it's called a 2912 and it has this beautiful party deck. Come on down, please! <laughs> well, you know, it's been such a wonderful show. I, I you know, I'm glad that I, I pulled up a song for it at the beginning there just to make sure I brought up the excitement because you guys, you filled this show tremendously well. Just extraordinarily great information. Thanks. Right, Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Special thanks to Bill Sell, too. Yes, sir. Thanks, thanks Bernie. Keep Las Vegas. This edition of RVing in New England was a presentation of the New England RV Dealers Association. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.